you about paying with white people? Me. Number one, no matter what day of the week it is, white folks gonna get their stuff painted. Now, I don't know if we the only race that do it, but I like to wait for weekends to come for me to do stuff so I can paint, sit down, get tired, throw it off a little bit, be frustrated, want to throw something through a wall, curse a little bit, eat something, then get back to painting. A white person will tell you, hey, on Tuesday we're going to paint, on Wednesday we're going to paint, on Thursday we got to have this thing done. What's happening on Thursday, Brian? What's happening on Thursday that we can't wait till the weekend to get this thing done? Friday happens after Thursday, Josh. Why do tomorrow what you could do today? What a damn paintbrush at, Brian. Where's the paintbrush? I be tired during the week, man, but nah, being tired ain't gonna stop y'all. Y'all go to work, y'all get off work, then y'all come home and y'all get this thing done. I'm straight on that, man. That's number one. No matter what time or day of week it is, that thing gonna get done. Number two, white folks will have all they paint attire. That doesn't mean they're gonna give you some of their paint attire. Anybody that paints a lot knows when you're in a small space with closed doors, you wanna have on that little mask because you don't wanna get high off the paint. You don't wanna pass out and be unconscious and wake up with paint chips where you hope that's paint chips all over your face. We painted a shed that was probably eight by 10, kind of like a jail cell. Brian, why would we paint an eight by 10 kind of like a jail cell thing in your backyard, Brian? So as we were painting, I started to get lightheaded. And I'm like, hey, B, you ain't getting lightheaded. He looks at me, he has a whole Bane mask on his face. Josh, whatever do you mean? You did not wear a mask to paint? What is wrong with you? I'm looking at him like, okay, that's real funny. Now, where mine at? Where the extra one at? He ain't got no extra one. You should have brought your own. White folks will have all their stuff in order. They don't told you two days before you coming, Josh, we painting. Bring this, this, and this. I ain't read my text messages. All I heard was, we paint on a Tuesday. I'm frustrated. I threw my phone down. I didn't read the other paragraph or the other be aware label that came with paint, an 8 5. Why was this thing the size of a jail cell, Brian? Number three, if you can't do the job, your white homie gonna always have somebody on deck that can come do it and embarrass you. Okay, so now that I don't put my t-shirt around my mouth, I'm in the corner to get my Mr. Miyagi on. Up, down, right, left, up, down. I'm a sensei with the paintbrush. But some told me to look to my right, and I'm noticing Brian texting somebody. I'm like, who is he texting? Must be texting his wife to bring up some lemonade and those yoga pants she always wearing. So I'm still Mr. Miyagi in this wall, right? Then all of a sudden the door opened, like three or four dudes coming in. I'm looking around like, why they got all their paint clothes, Brian? Why they wearing all white? And why they got their own brushes? What are you trying to say? I wasn't doing a good enough job? Man, white people ain't got no time to play with this thing, man. They want to get that stuff done. And you could be best friends. You could be their mother, their cousin, their son, their pet, their dog, their goldfish. If you can't do what they want you to do in the timely manner that they need it done by, they're going to go over your head, behind your back, and they're going to hire a whole crew of people to get it done with them. Don't touch my wall. This, back up. this is my wall. This is my wall. Number four, when it's just you and your white homeboy in there, that's when the most intimate conversations happen about stuff you ain't really prepared to know about your homeboy. So as this Wednesday night was coming to a close and the room was starting to look good, everything's starting to fit well and sit well, he just wanted to say, Josh, so how's everything going at home? And I kind of told him some stuff like, you know, home is like whatever. Hey, we ain't the best, but it ain't the worst. He was like, yeah, I got hemorrhoids too, Josh. <laughs> One thing I will say about black men, we brute, we strong, we hold everything inside. We don't want to show no sign of weakness. If I had hemorrhoids, my hemorrhoids ain't going to know I got hemorrhoids. The way B told me he had hemorrhoids, it was way too easy for him to tell me that. Yeah, Josh, I, I've had them for like the last couple months, and it hurts when I sit. I've been using suppositories. What's a, what's a suppository? Hold on. Let me look at my phone. Let me see what a suppository is. In the Bro, you gave me a cup of water. Did you wash your hands after you gave me that cup of water? Did you wash your hands? If ever there's a moment that you want to confess something that you can't confess to nobody, you don't kill somebody, drug somebody, you want to borrow some money, you get put out, you don't know where you can't get up, you flash it lately, that's the moment to tell it to your white homie. Because in that moment of painting, that therapeutic moment, all is free. And number five, ain't no spilling no paint. Every drip matters. Now, I've never been a painter, and I don't understand how expensive paint can be sometimes, but I also know that every drip was accounted for. I'm over there just playing with it, having fun with it, laughing. Ha <laughs> you said you had him right, you're so funny. Not knowing in my mind that this man's keeping tabs and keeping calculations of every single drop that I was missing. So we don't paint it all day. We don't been paying so low that I don't lost track of time. So I'm ready to go like, Brian, it was no problem. You don't owe me no money. I come do this for free because you my homeboy. Hope your hemorrhoids get better. He was like, okay, Josh, I'm gonna see you next weekend, but um, you owe me like 15 bucks, Josh. Brian, for what? I mean, I ain't charge you. What you charging me for? Or you missed about a foot of paint on your clothes, your beard, on that wall. There's a bubble there. I'm not gonna mess with you about it, but you owe me about 15 bucks. You wanna cash at me? White folks be working hard for their stuff, so they don't want no drip, no drop. 
nothing sneaking out that window, that house, that area for free. If you are going to paint, come with a contract. If any paint gets spilled here, I'm not reliable or responsible for it. Let me be, leave me alone. All in all, I had a great time painting that shed, a jail cell, or, hey, Brian, seriously though, like, why was this the size of a jail cell? And why is it bars on here? Brian, Brian, why I'm, Brian.